Due to constant wear and tear from the elements, ropes need to be replaced from time to time. Let's see how to do this first on a rope or halyard that is on the outside of the pole. Unwind the old rope from the cleat on the pole. Now lower your flag, disassembling any hooks and knots as you go. The rope needs to be straight. Now remove the flag, taking care not to let it touch the ground. And again, remove the hooks that held the flag to the rope. Cut the old rope above the knot and continue holding both ends. With your new piece of rope, bring the end of it together with the end of the old rope. Using electrical tape, wrap these two ends together. Wrapping the tape diagonally while holding the joint where the two ends come together is helpful in this process. Use enough tape on both sides, about five to six inches on either side, so that the ends don't come apart. Tear off the tape and pull the rope through the flagpole pulley to bring the new rope into the pole. Remove the electrical tape or cut it off. Melt the end of your new rope to prevent fraying. Now tie a flagpole knot with the new rope. Cross the two ends, make your loops on both sides, stuffing the ends back through the loops, then pull it all tight. With the new rope in place, you now need to attach the flag to it by positioning the knot roughly in the center of the flag. Once it's attached, the flag will hide the knot. Above the knot, Attach the first snap hook by folding a part of the rope in half, sliding it through the end and slipping it over the top of the hook, pulling it tight. With the flag on your shoulder, attach the hook to the flag's top grommet. Now lengthening out the rope, go down to the flag's bottom grommet to measure the distance where the second snap hook will go. This will be about an inch below the bottom of the flag. Attach the hook by bringing the rope through the end and slipping it over the hook. Then attach the bottom part of the flag. As you can see, the knot is in the center of the flag. Now you can hoist your flag with its new rope. Finally, secure the rope by wrapping it around the cleat.